hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is one i've done a couple of times before i'm not sure how many but it's the one where i'm only eating reduced food so not like food on sale we're going by the yellow sticker food so the food that's like going out of date gone out of date maybe no it was going i don't think it would have gone out of date that's what we're doing so i've done it a couple of times before and it's very interesting how much you can save and i think it's great to be fair like i don't often go and do it i only really do it for videos i will be honest although sometimes i've had bits of lunch but i suppose you know let's not get into that just yet we're only in the intro but that's what we're doing in today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed this one it's a very good one i won't lie i am very impressed with what i got and it's all from the same shop so it's all from tesco's uh, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. But that's, but that's all. That's all I need to say. Let's get into the video. Good morning. Hello. I was going to say like happy Tuesday then. Why was I going to say happy Tuesday? Happy Tuesday, although it's probably Wednesday for you now if you're watching it. Anyway, breakfast. So I obviously, I'm in my pyjamas and haven't filmed the intro yet, but so I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I've done well today. Just saying, let's get some breakfast. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna be having some fruity tea cakes. So I nearly couldn't find breakfast and this was literally on the bottom shelf. I went to a Tesco Express, which is basically if you aren't from the UK, Tesco Express is like a smaller Tesco. So we've got We've got big Tesco's, little Tesco's and Tesco Express. So a big Tesco's is basically like big. The main Tesco is where it has clothes, you your food shop, it has like other little bits in there. That's big Tesco's. Little Tesco's is like a much smaller one. <laughs> basically same stuff, doesn't usually have clothes or the one near me doesn't have clothes, just food, but not every food that you get in a big Tesco's. And then a little Tesco, Tesco Express, sorry, I'm getting confused now. Tesco Express is a much, much, much smaller one. It's like a corner shop type one. And actually, I don't know about anyone else, but our one seems to be like a little bit more expensive than any other Tesco's. Is that normal? I don't know. But anyway, why was I telling you that? I don't know. I think I was telling you because like, the bits weren't all in the same sort of place as the way they would be in like a bigger place. Anyway, fruity tea cakes for breakfast. So yeah, I managed to find these. You've got the fridge area that had a lot of the stuff and then another area and then these were like, obviously with the bread, but right at the bottom. So I nearly missed them. But these were, should have been £1.35 and I paid 72p for them. Absolute bargain. So I'm gonna, I have, I've got butter in the fridge. Now actually, I could have gone all out and there was butter there in the fridge area but it's not the type of butter i use and i was just going to buy it for the sake of it i've got butter so i hope you guys don't think that's cheating but so i'm going to pop that in the toaster i think is that what you do with tea cakes i don't know um and put some butter on it and i'll sit down and let you know what i think of them because i don't think i've had these before to be fair this is looking delicious so yeah i've never had a fruity tea cake before do you get normal tea cakes or is it just fruity tea cakes? Shall I just say tea cakes? I've never had a tea cake before. Basically, I've put quite a lot of butter on that bit. Are they basically not just hot cross buns? But not with like the spice of hot cross buns? I don't know, don't tell me off. They're probably, that's probably a, I can't think of the word, but a naughty thing to say. <laughs> anyway, let's give it a go. They're really good. Yeah, to me that's basically like a hot cross bun but without like, you know, the spice that hot cross buns have. Not spice, but you know what I mean. Yeah, spice. Whatever. I really like them. To go with this as well, this is what I mean, like, I feel like I've really done well in this video. I got a drink. I got some Tropicana. So this actually, I've just noticed the date on there is tomorrow's date. And it went out yesterday, so I suppose if I'd gone there tonight, it was probably be much cheaper. But it was three, it should have been £3.50, and it's down to £1.58, which I still think is a bargain. And to be fair, hang on, I need another piece of this. It's come at the right time because I feel like, wow, I feel like I'm getting ill. 
and I'm looking in there and I'm look bloody horrendous. Hang on. Let's put the hood up and just hide, you know, a bit of that. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting ill and when you're ill you want like orange orange juice or apple juice, don't you? Well I do anyway. I only started feeling ill like last night. And it's not great. You know when you're you know when your back of your throat feels like you're getting ill, does that make sense? That's what I feel like at the moment. So a nice glass of orange juice. That is good. And to be fair as well, these, as I swallowed that one just then, it like scratches my throat a bit and that feels good. I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse than this because last night my eyes were like really dry, like I had to take my contact lens out because they were so itchy. And then I started, I don't know if you can hear it, if I feel like I'm nasally, but there's no, without being gross, there's no like, I'm not bunged up. It's just all like up there. <clears throat> but I've woke up this morning feeling the same. I don't feel any worse. So fingers crossed, it just says it is. I do think maybe it's like a bit of hay fever, but I never get hay fever, so probably isn't that. <laughs> anyway, this is a really good breakfast. So I'm really happy with this. And at least with something like that, bread, that can just go in the freezer. So, mm, thumbs up from me. I'm gonna go enjoy my orange juice and I'll see you. I have got a snacky type thing, but I'm not gonna have it as a snack. I'm gonna have it with my lunch. So I'll see you for lunch. It's time for some lunch. Just looking in that viewfinder, I look very, Sometimes I look really strange on the viewfinder and then like when I edit it, I'm like, oh, I don't even that look that weird. But I look very like blocky. Does that even make sense? I've got like a vest top on with a cardigan. There is like gaps there. But anyway, should we show you what I'm here to eat? I've managed for my lunch to get, I'm really excited about this because this is one of my favorites anyway. I've picked this up. So this is a chicken, Southern fried chicken pasta. And honestly, this would be one of what, like one of what, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. One of what I would try and get anyway. There we go. Like for lunch, like as a meal deal, I would, this would be my choices. So as you can see, this was £2.75. I know you can get it in a meal deal, but if you had it on its own, £2.75. And I got it for 91p. Like, I honestly couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. I was like, that is coming home with me. There were a few different pastas. This is the best one. There was like a smarty one, I think, lunchtime ones. And there was a couple of sandwiches there. But I picked this up because this would have been literally like one of my favorites. So 91p for this, absolute bargain. Just want to say as well, if I look like this, it's because I am. I'm starting to feel rubbish. I won't lie. There we go. Like, I'm so tired, I literally feel like I go to bed. Is there like bags under my eyes? I'm not even putting like foundation on. I put a bit of concealer under my eyes because you guys don't need to see it throughout the whole video. But you know, when you just feel ill and you just don't want like your face covered and stuff, that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, so apologies if I go, I go downhill or anything through this video because you know, it's not the one. If you guys haven't had this pasta before, then basically chunks of, chunks of Southern fried chicken and a lovely, pasta sauce it's lovely honestly don't even have anything else to say about it what i could do for you is actually read what it is so if you haven't had it it is sorry i had to find it then i thought it was going to be actually on the front but no chicken breast in a southern fried coating with sweet corn on cooked pasta yogurt and herb dressing honestly it's real nice and they actually give you a good amount of um chicken i don't even know if you can see it if i'm getting at the right angle there you go there's quite a lot of chicken the other week i did a video of only eating my favorite food and one of them was a like a chicken sort of salad pasta salad thing from m s and i did mention it in there but they're quite stingy with their chicken but this is good also i did used to always have it but i've kind of stopped and i only seem to have it on a meal but i like to have honey and lemon hot water I don't know why, but in my brain, I just think, you know, it's going to make it better. So I went to make it, put the honey in. Did I have any lemon? No. So I literally had hot water with honey. And I don't actually like honey. Like when you have it with lemon, the lemon takes away the flavour. 
like not complete flavour but it adds like the sweetness it's a bit nicer so I didn't enjoy that but you know I got it down me anyway I'm gonna go and watch a bit of TV I've started watching Queen Charlotte on Netflix have any of you guys watched that it's like the follow-on sort of thing from Bridgerton follow-on I don't know you could whatever I'm going to watch that so I will catch you in a little bit when I'm gonna have the snack that's sitting next to me I've had some I finished my lunch and I'm just gonna have a little snack before I get back to work so it's not actually the snack I would have preferred how I'm feeling right now like how I'm feeling right now I want like a massive bar of chocolate and a cup of tea actually no biscuits I'd like biscuits and a cup of tea you know dunk it just feel all cozy and make myself feel better but I guess I need these <laughs> so I'm gonna be having uh, some blueberries I picked these up these were £2.20 and I got them for £1.30 I think £2.20 is like so expensive for that amount of blueberries like, it's just ridiculous isn't it and £1.30 I feel like they could have knocked a bit more off like I don't understand their price ranges anyway I'm gonna have these there were also in there they discounted some beer is it Moretti something Moretti I don't know I don't drink beer lager whatever but that was discounted as well I didn't get it so a bit pointless me telling you but anyway I'm gonna do this I am gonna make myself a cup of tea by the way but not have the biscuits <laughs> so I'll see you for some lunch oh that was a nice one afternoon guys so i'm about to do dinner honestly i feel like crap basically i literally look like crap as well just been out to aldi and got a few bits just in case it's hay fever i picked these up these are like hay fever whites i've seen these before josh has used them obviously i've never suffered with hay fever but is, is this sort of hay fever feels like do you just feel like crap because literally yesterday i was 100 percent fine and then last night like i say i just started feeling like weird I don't know anyway shall i show you what i'm gonna have for dinner instead of moaning once again so for dinner pasta again actually i picked up this tomato and mozzarella pasta bake um it's i think i'm gonna pop it in the oven because it always if pasta bake it comes out a bit nice and like crispier in the oven rather than the microwave but this was oh they put it upside down this was three pound 45 and it's now one pound 93 three pound i feel like is quite expensive for a bit of pasta but anyway i don't know if i've tried that before more than likely have but we'll see usually i'm like a chickeny cheesy sort of person rather than the tomato ones creamy sort of ones you know what i mean but i probably have tried that to go with it i wouldn't usually have anything with it rather than other than like garlic bread but um these i clearly need these right now if this is a cold and they were on they, they were on reduced in the reduced section so i thought you know what why not so i picked up these this veg and like i say i clearly need it so this is cavolo nero and garden peas is that how i say it i don't know i usually just say peas <laughs> these were two pound 90 and i paid one pound 94 for them so that's good they've it's finished they're tesco finest as well so it's finished with a delicious salt and pepper butter the perfect side to any meal so i know pasta although some pasta and veg sometimes you have like lasagna and would you have veg i don't know but it's gonna try it and then i also saw this this is a bit of quite a bit of a big meal to be fair tonight but these were also on sale and i thought i can't turn them down because i'll obviously whatever i don't eat that can go in the freezer will be going in the freezer but these sound really good so this is four sliced focaccia bread things it was two pounds and i spent 82p on that so i'll warm that up i love focaccia like nice thick focaccia bread yum so i'm, I'm gonna warm that up have that dip in and then the veg on the side i'm obviously not gonna have all that veg but oh look it's got some butter and beautiful so yeah let me pop all this in and we sit down and have a little probably not a full chap because i literally feel like i'm talking from here and I understand how annoying that is. So, oh, I just look awful. Dinner is ready. I feel like you are really wonky, but I'm not sure if that's just me. Dinner's ready. <laughs> I never really serve, but it doesn't look weird. I don't know, does it look weird? Got the vegetables, the pasta, 
I've got that focaccia bread. Now, I put it in the toaster. The reason, this is the reason I've taken a bite out of it. I put it in the toaster and warmed it up, did it one way, and then flipped it over, did it the other way, because obviously that won't all fit. And then I was like, look at that. I was like, what's that smell? And I forgot to press the warm button. So when I was doing the second time, it was toasting. So I just caught it. It's a little bit, a bit harder than I wanted it to be, but that's why I took a bite to check if I needed to put one in again, but I didn't, and it was lovely. So, very nice. It doesn't have like, it's not, I think it's just like plain focaccia bread. Like the one I like is the, it's like rosemary and garlic and all that goodness, oils and stuff in there. And it's, it's good. But that's still nice. I'm just annoyed at myself that I toasted it and didn't. Just smell good. It didn't just warm it up because honestly, when I got it out of the pack, sorry, I'm having this at first because I want to get rid of that burnt, burnt bit. When I got it out of the pack, it was like the softest bit of bread that I've ever felt. I'm gonna try this veg. You know, I showed you like, there was like a little bit of butter in there. It was literally like only one bit. I was hoping for more. So I was hoping, I suppose it doesn't say that it's buttery, but I was hoping for some nice buttery veg. It's not like buttery <laughs> at all, but still good and actually that big pot of it i put some in with sid's food so if you can hear him chomping away he obviously enjoys it as well that pasta's nice but i don't really like rate it how much did i say it was it's like three pounds something i feel like that's a lot of money for what that is unfortunately this is the last meal as well today because i didn't manage to get anything for pudding i think you've got to be really lucky to be able to get like pudding as well but I think I've done pretty good today, to be fair. I haven't done all the working outs yet. But as you know, I've obviously saved quite a bit. But I will put it on the screen now. How much it would have been if it, I paid full value. And how much I actually paid. So you'll be able to see the savings. I reckon, I reckon I've saved maybe about £5. I'm not 100% sure. But whatever I've saved, it's still, it's still a saving, which is good. Anyway, I'm going to sit and enjoy my dinner. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. But yeah, that's all for now. So, thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.